Hello, today's video will be showing you some of the more basic functions of the UDC Pro software. Let's head over to the engine parameters and into rail pressure. We are going to be using operating mode zero today to play with a little bit. The first thing I want to show you in this table here is how to change uh, a value. Normally, a lot of things will have you double click or single click and have a cursor pop up to start editing. What this will actually do is if you just click on it and start typing whatever number you want, it will automatically pop up with the window you know, to change the value there. You can also shift and click to select a group just like I did there and same story. Start typing in whatever you'd like to see and off you go. And just because I'll show you a bigger range here, notice it'll select a heck of a lot more tables. You can set them all to the same if you'd like to save you some time possibly. Another thing you can do is control click. Instead, you can select a few different values. If you happen to know what you're doing already, you can just go in and change all those at the same time. And it doesn't, you know, they don't have to be next to each other or adjacent to be able to change anything. Something else you can do, like in most programs, is hit control and Z at the same time. And it's going to undo the last changes that you made. Pretty useful if you make a pretty big screw up. Something else I want to show you is when you do highlight all these and change a value or keep them highlighted, it'll actually show you what is being highlighted on the graph so you know exactly what part of the map that you're working in. I'm going to show you a couple of the different operating modes here because I'd like to show you a function that allows you to take a cell or a bunch of cells and copy them to all of the operating modes. Uh, this one I was just looking at was a pretty extreme example with that slope. What we're going to do is take the entire table and copy it to the rest of the operating modes. It looks like this picture of the three pages here. As I click on it, it'll ask you, would you like to make all the maps and axes the same for this group? And you can definitely do that. You'll see the operating modes all have changed. And if we actually go and click through some of the maps here, you'll notice that they are completely identical. There's that pit that I made, and trust me, it's not a good, <laughs> not a good tune by any means, but did it for an example. Uh, they're all identical, so it can save you a lot of time if you have to work on multiple maps. Um, if we take a look, this is the one that was a pretty extreme slope. Uh, a couple of these were quite a bit different, and you can actually undo changes in particular tables as well. Same thing, Control Z, the map reverts back to how it was before. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and expect some more videos very soon.